Good day, grade 2. Today, we're going to talk about a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And our learning target is, I can solve division word problems using the Gapesa method. And the lesson is all about visualizing and solving one-step routine and non-routine problems involving division of whole numbers. And our lesson starts with the yummy tacos. Now, Jeff prepared 18 delicious tacos for his six friends who would visit him this afternoon. How many tacos would each of his friends receive? To find out the answer, we are going to follow the GAPESA method or GAPESA method. So for letter G, what are the given numbers? For letter A, what is asked? For letter P, what is the process to be used? For letter E, what is the equation? For letter S, what is the solution? And for letter A, what is the answer? Now in the word problem, GAPESA will be like this. So for letter G, we have 18 tacos prepared and the 6 friends who would visit. Letter A, what, it, what is asked is, how many tacos would each of his friends receive? For letter P, the process that we're going to use is division. For letter E, the equation or the number sentence is 18 divided by 6 is N. And the solution is 18 divided by 6 is equals to 3. So the answer is, each friend would receive 3 tacos. Now we have 18 divided by 6, we have 3. So each of his friend will receive 3 tacos. Now let's have another example. Lynn's mother gave her 30 pesos to buy 5 pieces of modeling clay. How much is the cost of each modeling clay? In the word problem, the peso will be like this. We have for letter G, 30 pesos which is the money given to Lynn, and five pieces of clay to be bought. Now, letter A is what is asked is how much is the cost of each modeling clay. Letter P, the process that we're going to use is division. For letter E, the equation or the number sentence is 30 divided by 5 is equals N. And the solution is 30 divided by 5 is equals to 6. So the answer is, each modeling clay cost 6 pesos. Now we have 30 pesos divided by 5 it is equals to 6 pesos, which is the cost of each clay. Now, we have another example. Faye received 36 seashells from her cousin. She wants to distribute them equally to their four aquariums. How many seashells should she put in each aquarium? Now, in the word problem, Capesa will be like this. So for letter G, we have 36 seashells given to Faye and 4 aquariums. Letter A, what is asked is how many seashells should she put in each aquarium? And letter P is the process that we're going to use is division. The equation or the number sentence is 36 divided by 4 is equals N. The solution is, of course, 36 divided by 4 is equals 9. So the answer is, 9 seashells should she put in each aquarium. So 36 divided by 4, we have 9 seashells that she should put in each aquarium. Good job, my dear grade 2. Now you already know how to solve word problems or division word problems using GAPESA. Good job.